I got a new toy recently. I've been using it out in the field. I've been very pleased with it. So I thought I would do a review on the Klein Scout Pro 3 with remotes. I'm also going to be giving away one of these Klein testers to one lucky viewer. This video was sponsored by Cloudwork Pro, your source for national IT contract work. Cloudwork Pro provided the tester for the giveaway, so I want to say a special thanks to them. And if you're interested in learning more about them, visit them at cloudworkpro.com or click the link in the description. Now, this isn't just some unboxing video. I'm going to actually show you how this works with real equipment in real time. Let's get into it. First, let's just talk about some basic features. It comes in this nice foam padded carry case to protect your equipment. Klein makes a tone and trace wand. So if you have one of those and you just have a tone and trace set, then you can store your toner here. The Klein Pro 3 will actually test voice and data and coax. It will also test for PoE and it will also blink the switch to let you know what port you're on if you have a cable running to a switch that won't tone out. It comes with some short RJ45 and RJ11 cables. It also comes with six remotes so you can distribute them on your job site and come back to the patch panel and test all six all at once. Now you're going to say there's only five here. The remote attached to the bottom of this is actually your first out of the six remotes. It also comes with some F connectors for your coax. This will also generate a tone so you can use it as a tone trace device to find a cable. Now let's go hook up some of these remotes and see how it works. Each remote has an identifier on it. So if you want to lay them out in a way where you know, okay, this is number one, this is number two, etc., you distribute them at your site and then we'll go back and we'll test them and we'll know how each cable tests out and we'll also know where each cable is on the patch panel. So this is the number one, we're gonna put it here. Number two. Number three. And then we'll go place a couple more out in another room. place number four up here. Now obviously these jacks are already labeled. I know where everything is. I'm just trying to demonstrate how it works for your sake. All right, put number five over here. We'll place our last one right here. Now let's go back and test. Now we're ready to test and identify. We're going to power on the tester. First power on, no backlight. If you would like a backlight, you just press the power again and you have a backlight. If I didn't know which ports these were on, then I could simply plug this into each one and run a test and see which six show up for my tester. Since I know, I'm just gonna go ahead and do them one at a time for you. As soon as I plug it in, even before I run any kind of a test, it already shows me ID five. So I know that that is my remote five. To test, I'm gonna just press this network button here going to run a basic continuity test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all matching, and it says pass. So now I know that this is my remote number five. I know it's a good cable. Next, we're going to test patch panel port four and see what remote number is on it. I still have the results from the last test, so now it doesn't change the ID number. I have to actually rerun the test before it will tell me now I'm on ID four. This actually shows that it's bad. Somehow this actually didn't get tested right or something happened after we installed it. So now we're gonna have to go fix this cable because we got pairs seven and eight are showing open. Now we're gonna go to patch panel six, see which remote is on that and see if it's good. All right, it is ID six, got a pass. We know we're good there. Next one is on patch panel 18. Rerun our test. So that's ID number two. So that is our second remote. That is a pass. Just so you see what happens when you are not on a port that has a remote or any kind of tester at the other end. We'll run the test and we just get open and no ID number. That tells you that that is not one of the ones that has remote on it. Our next one is on 19. We 
rerun the test. It's ID number three, and it is a pass. And our last one is on 20. And it is ID number one. It is also a pass. So that's how we can use the Klein to actually identify each cable and test each cable simultaneously. So I was able to do six cables at once without having to walk back and forth. Big time saver. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the toning capability of this. So we're going to go out to port 20 and I'll show you how this tones. To do a tone, we're going to press this musical notes button here. We're going to go listen for that and see what it sounds like with my tone wand. So I know we're on port 20. I'm actually going to use the Klein wand, but you can use any brand wand with any toner in most cases. This is what it sounds like when we tone it out. You actually have different tone frequencies. If you hit that little musical notes button again, it changes the frequency. So as you can see, it's a different sound. And then of course my personal favorite is the alternating tone. That way you know for sure that you're hearing the correct tone, that it isn't interference from something else. So on the toning side, You'll just rotate through this button by just selecting it different times. And it just goes all the way through from 800, 1000, 1200, 1400, 1500. And then it goes into the rotating alternating tones. One nice aspect of buying this particular set is if you already have the Klein toner, it will actually fit into this case already. This doesn't come in this drawing, but it's just a feature that you can obtain later if you want. One other feature about the toning that I really like is that you can actually press this button and it will rotate through the different pairs. In the event that one of your pairs is bad, you can actually rotate through all the different pairs to run the test so you can find a good pair that will actually send the tone. You just do that by pressing this and it will alternate through each one individually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or you can do this and it will actually go to pairs one, two, three, six, four, five, Seven, eight. Next, I'm going to show you how the PoE testing works on this device, and I'm going to give you the keyword for the drawing, as well as showing you how this will actually blink a port on the switch to let you know what port number a jack is if you're trying to identify it and locate it. Before I go into those details, I'd like to introduce you to our video sponsor, Cloudwork Pro. Cloudwork Pro is an on-demand IT field services marketplace that brings together clients and technicians to complete on-site IT field service work. Cloudwork Pro is passionate about being the best of the best in the industry. To accomplish this, they vet every single technician that applies to be a part of their marketplace. They actually do a one-on-one -on -one interview with each technician. They verify their work. They look at photos of completed work that they've done. Because of this vetting process, the technicians on Cloudwork Pro have an average of 14 years of experience in the IT industry. And of course, the clients love having access to high quality technicians. And the clients are expected to be professional as well. And that's been proven out. The technicians have given the clients on the Cloudwork Pro Marketplace an average satisfaction rating of 99.5%. So as a technician on the Cloudwork Pro Marketplace, you know that your talents and experience are going to be rewarded and respected. If that sounds good to you and you would like to apply, visit them at cloudworkpro.com or you can click the link in the description. The link in the description is a referral from FieldTech Academy. That way they will know that you were sent to them by us. Up above is a link to a playlist that I've put together of Cloudwork Pro videos. If you want to learn a little bit more about them before you apply to be a part of their marketplace, you can watch some of those videos and see some of my personal experience with them and how their marketplace actually works. Now for the keyword that you'll need, we're going to use the word remote, R-E-M-O-T-E. And I'm going to give you details on how to enter the drawing a little bit later on in the video. Now let's talk about the PoE testing functionality of the client tester. One thing I like about this tester is it will test for PoE. So you know if you're connected to a PoE switch or you know if you've got a port that's bad or the voltage is wrong. When you're just testing a normal network jack, you're going to use the top network port. For the PoE side, you're going to use the side port. I'm just going to power it up and you're going to press and hold the PoE button over here. Now this will show you that you've got 56.7 volts coming out of that port. If you were just to test a regular port on a regular switch, you'll see that you get zero volts out of it. And it doesn't matter if you're testing at the switch or you're testing at the jack at the wall, it'll still show you if you've got PoE voltage coming through that port so you know if your devices are going to work or maybe why an existing device has stopped working. If you need to test a phone jack, the same principle applies as the network. 
You're just going to use the phone cable. Even though these plugs are RJ45 sized, they're still going to test for the RJ11 plug. Now on the tester side, you're going to actually use this port, which is designed for phone testing. Next, I want to talk about the hub blink feature. This is a big deal when you're trying to locate a cable that's connected to a switch. Typically, when you try to send a tone through a cable that's connected to a switch, the switch swallows the tone and you cannot actually hear it. Now, I do have a video on that that I'll post above that's a little workaround for that. That's kind of fun to look at. But this toner gives you that ability without playing any special games. You'll just press the musical notes button here and hold it. And now it'll switch to hub. So when it says hub, it's actually blinking the port on that switch so you can identify it. So we'll go take a look at the switch and see what that looks like. Now that we've got our Klein tester sending the hub signal, we're now going to look at the switch and we're going to look for any ports that are blinking a different kind of pattern. Most of your ports are going to blink a very similar pattern. They're just going to be constant, constant blink. In this case, I can see that port 22 is actually going off and then back on with specific little blink patterns. And then it goes back off. And that tells me that my signal and my cable that I'm hunting for is on port 22. Then all I have to do is look on the switch, find cable 22, and then trace that out physically and see that in this case, it goes to port 22 on the patch panel. Now, of course, it's not always gonna be that cut and dried. So it could be any port number on the patch panel. But the bottom line is find it on the switch, trace it out to your patch panel, and you found your cable without having to do any kind of special magic. Lastly, let me show you how the coax testing works. The testing kit comes with female to female and male to female connectors. So on the tester side, you're actually gonna put the barrel, the female to female on the top port. Each remote has a coax on one end and RJ45 on the other. So to test coax, we're going to use the bottom here. We're going to have to put another barrel connector on it. So in theory, you could do the same thing. You could set up all your remotes with all your barrel connectors, run them throughout the house or business, and be able to identify each one individually as well as test it. Now we'll power up our tester. So already it detects that it is ID number two. To test the coax, we're just gonna press the coax button here. And unlike network, we're not gonna have pairs along the bottom here because it's a single conductor. It is just gonna show you a simple pass and it's gonna show you the ID of the remote that you're connected to. This video and this drawing has been sponsored by Cloudwork Pro, your source for on-demand IT field service work. I'm giving away this full kit here that you see. To enter the drawing, you're gonna to go to our website at fieldtechacademy.com. You're going to go to the contact us page you're gonna submit a contact form with the keyword that I gave earlier in the video. We will accept entrance into the drawing for two weeks after this video goes live, and then I will do a YouTube live video and do the drawing to actually give away this toner set. If you got value today, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And as always, let's get you out in the field making money. I'll see you in the next video.